Lucky what I found. We got a little spider. Yeah. That's right, run away. These are good spiders, though. They hunt down the brown recluses and stuff like that. So you don't want to kill these guys. Hello, critters. Today we are going into Albuquerque. We are going to go to Michelle's doctor's appointment. Then we're going to get a hand truck, one of those real big five foot long, you know, push cart wheeled hand trucks. That'll make it easier for me to get my pellets for the pellet stove from the car to the storage shed, which I can't park the car next to because there's a concrete patio in the way. And then we're going to go get ourselves a Christmas tree. I found a place to get Christmas trees. Sadly, I have not found a place yet to get the ball trees so I can plant it when we're done. That just doesn't seem to be a thing around here. And um, we're also going to hit a couple thrift stores on the way back. So I still need to find her a winter jacket. I, I got her one um, off Amazon, but I'd still like to find a, a bigger one, a puffier one. So we will see what we find. More to come. Certainly a beautiful morning on the way into Albuquerque today. Got the trailer behind the car. You probably can't see that. Nope. So we're on our way. Forgot to get a picture before we started eating, but I had some green beans here. I have this shrimp, this breaded shrimp that I brought from Pennsylvania. I got this stuff for like 50 cents a bag. So that's 50 cents worth of shrimp. There was more here. I ate some. And I sliced up some potatoes and cooked them with salt, pepper, and basil. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna have some breakfast. So I'm making more potatoes, of course. I'm gonna put these in my little oven first. Here's my K-cup holders. They're coming out really nicely. And then I'm also gonna cook some eggs and sausage. Salt, pepper, basil, a little bit of olive oil in the bottom, and some zero calorie butter spray. So now it goes into the preheated oven. First backpack of bacon to this sausage. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We got some eggs, we got some bacon, some sausage, and some Idaho potatoes. I got some roasted garlic, basil, salt, and pepper on here. Sea salt. And what do you think? Yummy? All right. This is interesting. Look at the color in the sky. It's got like this pinkish blue haze all along the horizon. That's pretty. Dollar store, um, brown sugar baked beans, some cut green beans, and some steak I brought from Pennsylvania. That was like two fifty three dollars a pound in Pennsylvania. Right. Here, that would be like eight or nine dollars a pound. Well, this is getting cleaned up. I'll be putting that air conditioner in a closet. I got the metal cabinet moved on top of my um, cabinet in there, and this table moved down. I think I'm actually going to put the heater in that corner right there because there's already an outlet there. I can run the pipe right outside the door and um, that'll keep the heater further away from my work area. So I'm less likely to hear that fan noise and get that draft over top of my printers. I really wanted the stack outside, but... I think I'd rather have it here. I don't know. I have to think about that. But this is all going to get burned. Well, the paper is not the plastic. The burn barrel will be here tomorrow. So this is all. This is basically my big pile of cardboard trash. <laughs> I'm building it higher and higher. Michelle and I are going to break it all down tonight and get it ready to be disposed of. Uh, that table is going to stay there on my print station. The freezer is going to stay there for now until I can figure out a better place for it. And this is where the Christmas tree will go. So, more to come. Thanks to that critter out there, he brought my pellet stove to me today, and he helped me bring it inside. I also meant to show you guys this. I got my tire link mat. This is made of recycled tires with metal wires holding all the links together. So this thing is stupid strong. So now I have my base mat, and I have my step mats. This is my tank setup for the kerosene, so that pump, goes all the way to the bottom of the 15 gallon tank. I already emptied this one, I already emptied this one. This one's still full, so I got about one week on that. So that is just long enough to go into my little five gallon pail that I sit on top here and I crank this in like 40 seconds. It dumps five gallons in there, it's very quick. And then I seal that up and take it inside to pump away. 
this is eventually going to go in a small shed out back instead of sitting here out front but right now this allows me to use the cargo carrier on the back of the car back it right up to here and I can pick up that 15 gallon barrel and plop them right here and there is the pellet stove so I have decided to put it on front even though I really did not want that exhaust stack coming out the front of the house there's the hearth place for it I'll have to put like a small piece of half round back there to protect the wires although pellet stoves don't get super hot on the outside you only need like two inches of clearance or three inches of clearance to the wall so he helped me bring this in which is a huge freaking help oh thank god he helped me do that but there we go pellet stove so maybe in a week or so i'll have this going my dearest sister here is helping me break down all the cardboard which is very nice of her especially considering she didn't make any of this mess <laughs> i mean it's partially her stuff for her house but still she didn't make this mess so that's nice of her to help me out we got a burn barrel coming tomorrow so we're gonna get all this cardboard ready to get incinerated next year i hopefully will have a way of capturing this heat and doing something with it it begins we have started to clean up the mess um the vast majority of the pile of boxes you saw there and the pile of boxes you saw here is all paper packed into those boxes we had to break it all down and it packed into all those boxes those are plastic this is all paper you can see we're opening this space up again finally getting rid of all this shit that's all cardboard too that's all cardboard too although that has actually got one of the windows in it so that's going to go out in the trailer these are going to get spread around the house and i don't think there's anything in that one i think it's just an empty box so that's going to be trash too there's the furnace so my furnace is going to go there, pellet stove, Christmas tree is going to go right here. And um, got a little clock set up. I'll reset that later. But yeah, it's coming around. It's not such a hellhole. Um, current printing stuff, I'm sticking there. So that pile of stuff is printers for upcoming videos. And, um, gotta figure out where I'm going to put that. I need a better, more permanent solution for this. Eventually, I'm hoping that I can expand the pantry a little bit, get these out of here, and have this right here in the corner. That would be a nice place for it. Have this even with this wall here. And um, go from there. We shall see. Hey, critters. This thing's pretty cool. It's magnet, takes batteries. It just sits on your fridge. You touch it, it turns on. You spin the dial to set your time, and you touch it to start the time. Really cool and visible from across the room. I love it. And when it's done, it beeps and resets back to the time you want, or you press and hold, and you get back to zero. Pretty darn cool. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. My only gripe is it's nowhere near as big as I was hoping. I thought this was going to be full-size trash can size, like, you know, 50 gallons, and this is about half that. That's pretty cool, though. Got to keep the lid on while it's burning so that the embers don't pop out and start a fire somewhere downwind. You don't want that. You know, I might have to do this more often just because I really miss campfires. We stayed at campgrounds a lot, and um, this is the safest I'm going to be able to get with a campfire. Unless I build a big fire pit with a screen top. But I miss campfires. The warmth of a fire, radiant heat. It just feels good. 